welcome to my channel. This is Yenea and today I'm going to be making some Valentine mini cards. I'm gonna be using the Giglock Dives and Favorite Person stamp set, both from Avery So here I have a piece of white cardstock and I went ahead and cut a piece of masking paper the same size. With the help of my craft mat and a ruler, I'm finding the center of my card in order to place my hard die right in the middle. I'm gonna be using my cutting machine to die cut the heart from the masking paper, keeping the negative space. Then I'm going to peel it off and adhere it to my piece of cardstock. Of course, you can use any other hard die you have on hand, even create your own mask, drawing a heart and cutting it off with your scissors. So I have this bunch of super fine stripes that I previously cut out from masking paper. And what I want to do is to create one of those geometric hearts that are so trendy right now. To get that look, I'm arranging my strips in a random way, dividing the heart in little triangles and other geometrical shapes. It's very important to press each one of the strips down, because I'm gonna be adding paint to the heart and I don't want it to go underneath the masking paper. is masked and ready to add some color. I'm gonna be using white and pink acrylic paint and I'm going to start mixing a tiny bit of pink with the white to get a light pale pink color. So I'm filling its little shape with paint and I'm leaving some of them white because I'm gonna be working on them later. I'm not using watercolor paper, this is Nina white cardstock and because I'm not adding water to my paint, this will work fine. I'm gonna be painting my heart in some kind of gradient ombre effect. You know I'm a fan of this. So I'm gonna be adding more pink paint to the mix on the middle section and then use just the pink paint on the bottom. stitched hard die, I'm going to cover that stitch outline with paint as well. After letting the paint dry, I'm gonna go ahead and color in those little white space with nouveau mousse. This one is called Indian Gold. I was really curious about this stuff, so I had to dry it out, and I really like it. It dries quickly and clean, and the final look is nice and shiny. I'm applying the mousse using my fingers, being careful to reach all the corners of its shape and trying to give them a nice coverage. If you have golden acrylic paint, you can use it as well, or you can totally pass on the golden spots. I just looking for an excuse to play with my new toy. Okay, so it's time to remove all the strips and sheet of masking paper. This looks really messy now, but stay with me. It will look pretty in the end. Now I'm covering the spots uh, covered with masking paper. You can do all the outline now and avoiding making it two times. Once it's completely dry, I'm going to remove the masking sheet and if you do this carefully and it doesn't break, you can totally reuse it. Oh, look at this, I love it. 
For my sentiment, I'm gonna be using a strip of vellum and I'm going to ink up my stamp with Versafine Black Ink because I want to clear heat emboss it to give it some shine. So I add the clear embossing powder and I'm heat setting it with my heat tool. I'm going to be adhering both the vellum strip and my hard panel to the card base using double sided adhesive tape. I wanted to make these cards smaller than the standard size, so they are 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, and I think this mini size is super cute. So here's another example. For this one, I tried to paint the stitch lines of my hard die with Nubo mousse, but it didn't work. I think it's because the mousse is not as liquid as the paint. Anyway, I love the stitch lines on my other card, and I'm going to draw them by hand with a gold pen. If you're using a non-stitch die, you can use this little trick to get the same look. For this card, I'm gonna be using other sentiment from the same stamp set and I went ahead and stamp and heat emboss it. And because I didn't like the vellum strip paint that big, I cut it thinner, stopping just before the taller letters and finished them off with my scissors. This is really easy to do and I think the card will look more beautiful this way. This time I cut my heart panel a little smaller and I'm using a piece of crafty foam covered with double sided adhesive to attach it to the card base, adding some dimension to the final card. So here are the cards for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. And special thanks because this is my first video talking. I was a bit nervous and thank you so much for keeping with me. <laughs> Bye!